What is going on? So today I have the Talon Asp Baton. This is the 60 inch, I believe. It said 24 inch on galls, but yeah. And I did buy the breakaway tip for it. So I just wanted to do a quick little review and unboxing of it. So I ordered from Galls. It took, uh, I was like two weeks to get here. Took a good minute. Um, unfortunately, when I did get it, it was out of the package, so I did repackage it, as in, I put it back in here so I could show you guys. And, see, that shit should not be coming out. There we go. So, I got the model that has the push button here and not the full cap. I don't like the full cap. I think it would fall too easily. Um, on the back of the packaging here, it shows the Envoy scabbard, uh, the combo case, blah, 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 mirrors. Um, yeah. And it just kind of explains it. That's all that comes with it. That's it. Uh, this breakaway tip, though, I'll get back to that in a second. Let's see what So again, typical ASP stuff. Um, that's where it goes on the baton. The Envoy scabbard says you can get grip caps, so on. So with the the Envoy, or not the Envoy, the Talon actually requires this guy for the, uh, excuse me, the breakaway tip. Due to the button aspect on this, the friction locks, uh, the whole end cap is the breakaway tip. It might be breakaway cap. Um, but anyway. And then it comes with a, I'm pretty, yeah, that's metal. A metal cap that just screws over the top of it once you screw it into the baton. Um, Unfortunately, though, I was looking on how to install them, and these things do not come off without breaking all of the uh, Loctite that's in it. So, that's going to need a torch and a vise and some pliers to get that off. But I do like that tip over that tip, or the tip that comes with it, because, I don't know, I just think it's a little more aesthetically pleasing. So, it does come with this foamy grip it's really like i thought when it said foam like it'd be foam foam but no i mean this stuff is like thin but super comfortable super grippy like it ain't gonna move whatever else and for these guys just a simple shit yep ain't that simple apparently just a simple flick out and that is it fully extended um Put into perspective, let's see if I can find, these are, don't have anything, oh, there they are. These are my pair of Viper Techs that I just did a review on, they're three handcuffs long, if that makes any sense, if you know standard handcuffs. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, it's supposed to be six, or it's supposed to be comparable to the 26 inch. And uh, it comes in right at about 24 inches. Um, this is, like I said, this is a 60 centimeter. I didn't want to get the uh, 50 centimeter because it does come in under 21 inches, and we were told 21 is the minimum. So I did end up getting the bigger one. It comes in, at, I think it's nine and five eighths of an inch uh, long and collapsed. But it weighs about, I think it's about a pound, it, uh, is what it says. But yes, it is heavy. And I will say that if you had to lug this thing around um, all day long on a belt, it might get a little too uncomfortable, unfortunately. Uh, but I did get it from Galls. Uh, I have some issues with how I received it, how long it took. But so far, as the Asp himself, I should have just ordered from them because I absolutely 
Love this thing. I mean, this thing, this thing hurts. I'll say that much. So, a little wiggle test. Yeah, excuse the mess I have behind me, but it does wiggle a bit. But it is not nothing like you would think. Like it, yes, it has some play. All expandables are going to have a play, but it has less play than the Monodoc does, and that is what I really love about this. Um, to take it apart, just give him put the phone down. There we go. It just simple as unscrewing this. Hopefully, it doesn't explode. Maybe. Maybe there we go. That piece comes off and the whole baton comes out. You have all your working mechanisms if you need to replace anything um, and so on. But it works fine right now, so I don't need it. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Let me see if I can get that in there. Just put that on like that. And then on like so, find the right threading, one-handed, and it screws back in just like that. And that's that. I got the talon because I really didn't want to have to be jamming this thing against the concrete anytime I wanted to use it. But it flicks out with grease you then you grease i think you oil this this part and this part for easy sliding but well that's my quick little review on the talon uh if you guys have any questions feel free to comment them or message me and we'll for sure answer them thanks